Good morning, my neighbors. Today, I welcome you to Castle Baldarian, the home of Grimbold, Lord of Male Patent Baldness. One striking thing that maybe the sharp-eyed or the eagle-eyed may notice, or maybe not, because it might be your first time here, but I've moved my castle. So right now, our castle, which used to be over here in this nice little plot, this has now been moved to a spot here. I spent a long time trying to find a good plot of land, but I just could not find one that sort of fit well with the structures I already had. The castle relocation thing was pretty interesting to say the least. Um, but the symmetry, it was bugging me. So let's let's just do a quick castle tour. So I've only built up to here so far. I still have this entire stretch to work with. Building a castle is a lot difficult. It's a lot more difficult than I thought. And I was on YouTube just looking at all these people who are so talented at building and, and structuring the, the with the limited space they have to make these absolutely maze-like labyrinthian structures that have this gothic element, but also borderline aesthetic like they it's really an an art right so i tried to emulate a little bit of that i've made sort of like a little watchtower bit here kind of thing it has a statue of alucard in it with a bazir to sort of act as like a distant light stairs here two statues followed by some cherry saplings that are still growing so they should be bigger to give that sort of floral distinction a nice little patio area I have not built a sort of blood altar segment for these two things. So for now, they're just sitting outside. Um, the way gate is under here. I don't know what I'm doing here. Maybe a stable here. The rat thing is here. Another little patio thing. And this will all connect back into the main room. So I also have a horse. It's a pretty good horse. 10 speed, 6 acceleration, 13 rotation. Those are pretty good stats, and riding it felt good, so maybe once we get to level 4, that's where we're heading. Um, so, yeah, generally, we come in here. It looks a little bit congested, but it makes sense, contextually. So, we have our hallway, with our castle heart in the middle, our pillars. Maybe I'll add some lights, or some sort of embellishments. Our two angel statues from our previous room that we had, our previous hallway. Um, our music box, playing our, our lovely tunes as we brood and as we decide how we're going to dominate the world today. The Eye of Mortium to help us find rifts, which I've actually been doing. Quite fun. A little bit annoying, but fun. We've kept the basic structure of the lighting and the sort of guardian demon being things beside the throne. Uh, the windows, we've gone for like a, a trinity theme. I still need glass to build that one, but it's the same at the back as it is at the front. That's the main hallway. Now, from here, I always envisioned having two sets of stairs. One going left, one going right. I uh, didn't know how I was going to do it, but I settled on this. They are color-coded, so the orange leads to the forge, and the yellow leads to the workshop. So we'll go through the, the forge. Actually... Before we do that, here is an exit. Not sure where this is going to be yet. This is sort of like a placeholder for my sarcophagus. But here is going to be like the crypt area. So this is where all the servants will rest. Maybe we'll extend this, maybe we won't. It's purely depending on feeling. But I have the space if I need to dip into it back here. So... Plenty of space to develop a crypt or to build another room on the ground floor. So as we go up to the forge area, we're here. Dr. Bones holding it down, crafting us a better future. I got you, homie! We have our, our targets. Perfect. Our nice little targets to practice the new weaponry that we forge. Our smithy, our work, uh, workbench, that's right. Our smelters and... Our materials chest now it seems a bit small to me which makes sense but we can always extend outwards when it comes to an elevated platform or an elevated 
uh, room. I wanted to keep them small, just because like I said, the castle relocation thing, it basically takes the exact number of materials you used for your first castle and you have to place them down before you're allowed to sort of re- or to add more things, so I tried to do the best with what I had and small rooms just seemed more manageable. So we have our workbench here, our, work, our workshop. Um, actually, one thing I would like to do here is change this to this type, because that doesn't make no sense having three uh, three thingy-majiggies. Here it makes sense because you put... Actually, mm, maybe. Maybe we'll do that and then make that, because that's going to be blocked by the thing. It, it, it sort of works in my mind. So, yeah, workshop like that. So then those two paths will converge on each other in the middle of this hallway. And one thing I wanted to really do is I wanted to give a view of the bottom floor. But here is where, again, it needed to be contextualized. Like, yes, magic, you know, flying, flying structures, but the stairs, they had to be supported somehow. These balconies had to be supported somehow which is why there are these pillars here, and it might seem a bit congested, but architecturally it just makes sense. So now we're on the third floor where we have our escape route. I wanted to have like a quick access to jump down. It was just another wall, but I thought instead of going up and down and all this, I haven't got teleporters yet. It would be such a just gigantic pain going up and down so slowly. So I just made that little opening to quickly eject myself when I was on the third floor. We have our jeweler's room, which I'm quite happy with. I like the colouring, I like the lighting, I like the overall vibe. We have our alchemy room. And then that will be connected to our prisoner room, because I see them as synonymous. They, they go very well with each other. You know, alchemy to be used towards prisoner upkeep, as well as prisoner blood to be used for alchemy, you know. It makes sense. Grab the bottles from here, grab the bottles from in the prisoner room, you know. It, it has maximum utility being in close proximity to each other. Now, final two rooms are the study. So, I left enough space for the Anathium, which I know is going to be ginormous. So what we'll probably do is move the study over to here, and then place the Anathium, Ana Anathium structure over here. And then I don't have the flooring yet, so this is just a placeholder flooring, but this will be the tailoring room. And I do feel like this won't be enough. I do feel like this is a very small room, but for now, it suits my purpose perfectly. There is also a garden out the back, which we can go have a look at. And I've also made a door on the other side. I wanted to give enough doors so that we had access to each side, respectively, rather than before, where it was like we had to go through one specific door and then go all the way around to the back of the castle just to get to the tailoring area. And so just kind of done it like this and it took me a few days. It did take me a few days of, of trial and error. It wasn't just, you know, I happened to magically know what to put where and how to do it exactly. It was quite difficult, I'd say, but I'm happy. I'm happy with it. And yeah, that's that's all I can really ask for. Just got to figure out some rooms. Maybe down here, I'll build like a cathedral room for the altars and stuff. And maybe somewhere along the line, maybe around here or maybe off of here, we'll build like a connection to a sort of like a uh, personal room or something like that. We still have three floors we can work with here. I've reached the maximum in the main castle or the main keep. I guess we can define this as a keep. I don't know, but there's still plenty that we can work with on this layer of, of castle right here. There's still plenty we can do. So I'm quite happy with that. Thank you for staying with me. <laughs> Thank you for being patient as we went through all of that. I know it might have seemed a bit long, but I was quite excited when I built this castle to actually show show it off. Um, act 2. We're finishing Act 2 today, and I'm burning. I, I, I should probably stay under here, where I've created an artificial shade. That would probably be a, a very good idea. So... Back to where we were. We're going to finish Act 2, maybe dip into Act 3 a bit, depending on who gives good stuff. Uh, maybe 
Yeah, actually, yeah, maybe we can do these if we're quick enough. I don't want to do another hour-long episode or two-hour-long recording, so we're going to get started with Jade, who is in Dunley. So I've spent a, 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 f a fair bit of time gathering up gems to make bonuses for my abilities. And I'm trying out new abilities. I got a really good, nice ability for the Corrupted Skull. It's there. If you'd like to pause, go for it. Be my guest. And then... Oh, I'm going the wrong way. And then I'm going to try the ball lightning. See how that works. Because I feel like it'll work together. So, I don't know if you caught the... Um... Actually, we can show it off here. I don't know if you caught the things. So, we do this. We do that. So, that will summon quite a few mobs. And we'll kind of play the back. And what happens is... We do have the passive. So I have got some passives, actually, that would be a good idea to show. Like here. Um, minions deal 10% bonus damage, that's good. I've got the passive here. And the gem for the lightning ball, what that does is when it explodes, it will give all nearby allies a movement speed bonus, 10%. So that just seems like it'll work with the skeletons that will be spawning from the corrupted skulls. And because we're launching two Corrupted Skulls because of our gem, we will be summoning two Skeletons as well. So there's four Skeletons on an opening, followed by a 10% increase in their damage, and then a 10% movement increase as well. So it's, it's a pretty decent buff, and a really nice way to reduce some aggro if in a very heated conversation or in a very unpleasant fight you know i just feel like that's a really good way to overwhelm an enemy it's good for mobs i'm not sure how it worked with a boss this will be the first boss that i try this combination on and it is jade so she might just wipe the floor with them skeletons are squishy they are very squishy so so currently processing and taking notes about how this all plays out but i'm hoping that it i'm hoping that this is good because I don't really want to rely on... I don't really want to rely on... Uh, Chaos Volley. All the time. So, yeah. Right there. They, they easily just get badgered enough to where I don't have to get involved. I just have to stand at the back and finish them off. Jade, there she is. Okay. Are we all buffed up? Are we not as powerful as we could be, but we're good, we're good enough to be able to hold up. Let's go hide for a second. Let's just, just rat it out a little bit. Just be squeaky squeaks. Find her by herself. Maybe catch her unawares. Ma'am, I like your voice. I do. Your voice sounds very sensual. One shot, one. Hey, that's the Widowmaker thing. Managed to get her. One shot, one kill. So we are actually quite a few levels above. So we're not doing too bad. I think we're going to jump in and do this. Get an ultimate, and that should clear everyone out. Hopefully. And now we just take, we just take the blood. Om nom 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 nom. That was actually insanely easy. That was great. Taste of knowledge. I don't want a shield. We have enough shields. We have the unholy shield, and we have the uh, cold shield. Yeah, we don't need another shield, so that's out. Uh, the dash, the next primary attack heals you for 5% of your maximum health and inflicts ignite. I'm not really that fussed about the dashes, to be honest. I'm more interested in the abilities, so I think that just leaves void. Summon an orb that explodes at the target location, dealing 90% magic damage. That actually seems quite cool. Because that's like this. So that'll fit nicely into our... Are we good? Are we cool? Are we chilling for now? Mr. Belmont? 
I think I think we're cool. I think we're good. So I'm not gonna waste the blood. I'm just gonna go straight to Cassius. I don't need to build the pistols. There's just no need. So we're just gonna head straight. Um yeah, straight for Cassius. We'll actually take the waygate, because it's quicker that way. But that's interesting. Yeah, we're, we're planning on just absolutely blitzing through Act 2 today. And then maybe focusing some of Act 3. Getting access to some stuff. Oh, a 96% warrior. Now that seems like an upgrade. Whoa. Void was kind of cool. That was really cool. So we really can't waste the blood now because 96%. I should have actually taken that for... I could have taken her for a servant, but eh, I have a very specific requirement for servants. I like them to be cool. I spit in the faces of people who I don't think are cool. There he is. Okay. Ooh, even he walks with a little bit of swagger. I saw thirst for your throat. Okay, come on. Oh, wait. <laughs> Did you see that bear? That bear was gangster. All right, let's take you out. for your neck. Let us begin. Holy moly. We're gonna just hit that from the start. See if we can get rid of some, some uh, nasty nasties. Get some aggro up. Mm. Okay, now it's just me and you. Okay, it's just you, me, you, and and the the, the he summoned a sword. He's summoning a sword. Okay, the sword is giving him strength. Um, I'm not sure how to go about this. Ah, I see, I see. Oh, let me just hit that. Holy crap. This is really elevated into another game. So this seems fairly easily, easily avoidable. Oh, sugar. Heal up quickly. Oh crap, he's summoned um, um, a thing. We'll do this. Okay, nice. That was actually quite tricky. Release me. Okay. So, yeah, lucky we were at least a few levels above and had really good blood. But that was that was something that was quite um, a challenge. That nightfall edge whole business thing, where the the sword flips around and and gives him like a a protection layer. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's interesting. That was that was interesting. Yeah, the uh, his big ultimate attack though, his like his limit break attack, where he floats up in the air and spits out all of these uh, AOE pulses. 
not too hard to dodge. It, it will be location based. So first one where you are, just move to the left, slide to the right, slide to the left, slide to the right, and then that's done. Um, yeah, really interesting. I like that. I like that a lot. A little bit hairy though, when he starts summoning other creatures and the, the sword keeps running around. I don't know. It was a good fight. Good fight. Ah, the mage gets summoned when the knight expires. So we want it to die so that we can summon the, the mage. And then trigger the condemned to summon more mobs. So we have like a mini army or a mini platoon of undead soldiers. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't fat finger. What, what is fat finger? Why are all of these 90% coming out of nowhere now? This is insane. Where are all these guys coming from? He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Goodbye. He's not dead. He's mine. <laughs> He's mine. What are the odds? I mean, none of this is making a difference. It's just stocking up my blood. So that, you know, I'm not absolutely weak as hell. But we'll take you out. Be quiet. Gather, gather, don't gather, do gather. What kind of gather? We all gather. I'm talking nonsense. I am actually talking so much nonsense. Ah, oh, okay. T pose to establish dominance. Sanguine regeneration. I like it. So Octavian, if I remember right, Octavian is just a big Beyblade. Literally just a big blade. <laughs> They're tough, folks. Just a giant Beyblade. Uh, he can actually knock me into the air. I think it's best that I wait no space in my just a little bit for Nightfall. It'll just make things a lot more easier, a lot more simpler. I'm still waiting for the day to go. Actually, maybe I can just start going for it now. Sort of hide in this corner. And then just wait for time to pass. Let's do that. <sighs> Another monster I have to deal with myself. There we go. So be it. We do that. He's doing that. He's going back and forth. Is he spinning now? To me. Here's an old trick. Yep, he's spinning, he's spinning, he's spinning, he's spinning, he's spinning. And he's, he's now dazed. Because he doesn't know how to spin to win. We're going to hit the ice block. Hit that, hit that. And then, boom. That's it. Right. That was actually insanely quick. That was insanely quick. Like we got that before night even hit. That's that's awesome. New, my bags Dark there. Mage's boots, we need that. And we need that achievement. Love my achievements. They give me a sense of satisfaction that nobody else can give me. My bags are filled. Uh what did he give us? He gave us a storm level three point. Lightning Typhoon, spin around, gaining a 100% fading haste and shock nearby enemies or Raging Tempest. I like Raging Tempest. I'm not going to lie, I remember that one. Is that the one where... I think that's the one where you sort of create this... You create this circle and you just dash through like Virgil from DMC. And you just go whoosh, 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 start slashing everything to smithereens. It's a very very satisfying ability and then with the with the jewel from the death knight so we have our death knight who's like our our front dps we have our side characters which are the the little skulls oh our trees are grown too developments uh yes yeah, so we have our death knight who's like the vanguard he just goes straight for it then we have the the mobs who help support and then we have the mage after the death knight's done all the damage 
and inflicted the condemn. He led the charge, he sets everything up, the mobs finish it, create more mobs, and then the mage comes to act as a support for the mobs. It's a whole ecosystem here, and I love it. It's brilliant. First thing we want to do is go up to the study, and we want to turn in our books. Maybe I should go mages. The mages set. Because, I'll be honest, I no longer feel like I'm a, I'm a melee character. I feel like I've developed myself into... Oh, I already have all of these. So we break these down. Toss them in there, toss them in there. Uh, toss that in there too, because we don't like that. Take that. So that's 23. And then we take that. We can leave that, the, the thing for now. So it's 38. It's 56. Uh, okay. Uh, what else can we do here? So let's put some materials away. And then after that, we will head straight to the whatchamacallit. We'll head straight to Gloomrot. Gloomrot South. Because we need the materials from Gloomrot South to upgrade our castle heart. So that'd be useful. Just gotta... Actually, we could start building some of the stuff that we unlocked. So let's have a look here. What have we got new here? Ah. Yeah, that's right. The big... But unfortunately, none of the stuff that we've built is done in a even manner. It's all odd. So these things basically have no use outside of anything, really. It just wouldn't fit. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, we'll do it on the on the bottom part. Production. This is where I want to be. So I did see the advanced blood press. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. That's real nice. And this is nice too. And a weapon storage. Oh, that's even nicer. Ancestral forge. One primal blood essence. Eight radium alloy. So how do we make primal blood essence? How do we make primal blood essence? Is that done here? Primal? Ah, maybe. It's done through... Wash it. Summon souls from the Shadow Realm. Uh, here, blood essence. So we need glass. Glass being in the forge room downstairs. So we just come here and then have a quick look at the lights. So it means this way. Let's see, quick, easy access. I really, I really, I really am happy with the way I did this. So we have glass here. Da, 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 da. How big is that? Where would that go? See, now this is where I'm getting another problem. Ah, okay, so what I'll do is I'll move this sort of here. And then when we want to build this, we'll put this here. And that'll be perfect right in there. Gloomrot is interesting. I do like the idea of Gloomrot. It's annoying as hell, but I like, I do like the ideas of Gloomrot and the execution of it. It's this profane world where magic meets science. It just feels like a different realm. You have you have the uh, the Farbane Woods. You know that makes sense. It's a woodland. It's very basic. You know the only people around are basic thugs and and bandits and it's not very unique, but it's it's comfortable. For every sort of RPG fantasy adventure enjoyer. It's a good tutorial starting area. You have the Dunley farmlands, which is a bit more civilized, but essentially it's the same place, right? That might be a bit a bit of a stretch to say, but essentially it's the same place. And you're doing roughly the same things. Farming up weapons, farming up new technologies, and then popping yourself into uh mines for copper 
and then popping yourself into the mines for iron and then quartz but then gloom rot gloom rot is where things start to get freaky it feels different it feels ruinous it feels decrepit it makes your skin crawl it makes you on edge It feels like a godless land. Look at them. Ah, oh, just, just about. But look at that. Easy pickings. The boys did the job almost perfectly. Now, Ziva, I think, is around here. Yeah, right in there. Because Ziva runs the factory. The weapons factories, I think. And Ziva is also an indoor boss. So we don't have to worry about being in sa uh, being in the sun so we should be good i love the enemies here too the enemies here are great annoying yes and i'm not sure if they've still got the the lightning strikes that keep going every five minutes that they did in in early access or when gloom rock first dropped um there were there were so many like random lightning strikes like world hazards and these things were the most annoying things you could imagine just absolutely terrible invasive you couldn't take a step without getting struck by zeus it, it, it was it was just wasn't fun wasn't fun at all all right we're just getting here we need them all to us We're gonna hit this. Just a bit of this, a bit of this, a bit of this. A bit of that. Cripes, man. This is this is actually an insane build. That's actually an insane build. Like, jeez. Gosh, he's cool as well. I love, I love this, just this setting. Steampunky kind of like twisted metal sort of like uh, perversions of, of like just industrial. That's it. Industrial type vibes. So good. I love them. And I'm not going to lie to you. I know, like, it's, it's a very silly thing to be worked up about. But, dude, I just took out an entire zone by myself. The AoE clearing on these abilities was absolutely abhorrent in terms of their devastation levels. So I'm... I'm I don't know what to say anymore. That was, that was actually insane. We just tore apart pretty much everything. Don't go down too fast on me. Oh, sorry, partner. I'm gonna try my best to meet you on the Dun Lily Day side. This'll be good. Which one is this? I can't remember. Ah, right. This one's rough. Love this view. Ah, yep, she's fine. She's doing a homing run, a bombing run. Come on, gang, jump in. And now she's gonna summon some some mobby mobbies. She's coming down. She's gonna be stunned. So we're gonna take advantage. Pop that in. Dodge this side. Damn it, what's wrong this time? Let's try this one out. Grab the health orbs. 
Ah, that's the shotgunny one. Holy shit. Ah, flamethrower again. That's good. Actually, we can go in on that. Oh, she's doing quite a bit. There we go. Nice. Just gonna take a little nap. Oh, that that nail gun. I think it was a nail gun. That one. That one did a bit of madness to me. That that top percent reduced damage is, is definitely helpful there. So pendant of the warlock, exquisite heart. So yeah, we're actually blitzing through these bosses at the moment. So we have access to another storm point. So cyclone. That just makes sense. And what else? We have the Fabricator. Ah, where does the Fabricator go? I think I am going to have to start building rooms because this was a massive thing. Maybe I'll have to build a separate forge room, like another forge room down on the bottom floor. Uh, because we're going to need to make a lot of that. Uh, sludge filled canisters. Uh, who's next after Ziva? Domina. Should we do her? I think we I think we should. We should do Domina. To get access to the teleporters. Or should we do Angram to get access to the next level of, of stuff? I know Angram is a wandering boss, so it might work out. Um But Domina gives access to the advanced grinders and the whip. And Angrum gives access to this thing and this thing and these, which is good. Um, okay, for now, let's head back. Yeah, let's head back. And then... Wait, I don't even know if I have enough stuff for this. If I do... I have nowhere near enough tech scrap. Alright. That's easily fixable. We're in gloom rot. Let's make some tech scrap. Or let's let's gather some. It's it's a bit annoying. I, I don't I don't I'm not satisfied with this arrangement, but it looks okay. It looks fine. And I guess I should be fine with, with all of that. So to make a sludge filled canister, we do that. How do we make radium alloy? Ah, so we need tech, that, and that. Ooh. So we need glass, which we should have here. Glass, and then they said um, sulfur, which we should have as well. And then grease, which we have been picking up. So let's drop that in there, drop that in there, drop that in there. There we go. I remember before it was actually a bit annoying. It was worse to do this. You had to go and take an empty canister, fill it up with sludge from gloom rot. You couldn't make it. You could only make the casing. So you made the casing and then you take that to uh, gloom rot, find the yellow pools of, of the uh, Lucasade and you uh, slurp that up and shake it and then give it to your worst enemy to drink the glug glug juice so my goal now is basically okay yeah we'll deal with that uh, but we need to head back to gloom rot just to get more tech scrap
<laughs> That's a new sound. <laughs> it hurts! <laughs> Give me more. Heal! She went straight into the house. Sorry. No spinny, no spinny, no spinny, no spinny. That's my panic button and my horse gone. I'm gonna push you to the end. Oh, that was the perfect position. I'm gonna drop that in there. I'm gonna drop him in there. He's dead. That's great. Dodge you, put that there. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Get away. No spinny, no spinny, no spinny. There we go. A little bit rough, but good stuff, good stuff. Sorry, madam. Not this time. There is no space in my. It's just, it's just, it's just too kind, too many levels of crazy. There is no space in my inventory. But her getting stuck, like her dashing straight into that. Godsend. Absolute godsend. Do I have Veil of Blood? Oh god. I'm just, I'm just... Uh, okay. Just a, just a... I, I lost my train of thought. She threw me off. <gasps> More rare gems. I don't have that one. But I'll take the gem anyway. Because I can always deconstruct it. Maybe I now have access to higher tier gems. <laughs> that, woman, that woman's voice, man. <laughs> that woman's voice is funny. It's just so monotone. It's got the same energy as the Tuskegee Airmen are on the march. Is that a 96 mutant? Back. Welcome to the apocalypse. Whoa, he's lagging me out. He's lagging me out. Maybe if I can get the boys, not not the boys, but like the 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 thingy majiggies. If I can get the mutants to just do a madness here. Holy shit. Oh my god, dude, it was so close, it was so close, why, why, why? Don't get caught by the dominatrix, that's the main concern. Everything will be fine if I just don't get caught by the dominatrix. Oh no! 
There we go. Good closer. Good closer. Just a little bit late on the timing on that, though. I would have liked to have been there earlier so I didn't get hit, but I had the help to buffer it anyway, so I'm good. I feel stronger. That's, that's rough. Okay, let's see this. Mischance, deceptive to loot. That can go. Don't care about that. Let me go get my stuff. I can finally just get on with the day. Home sweet home. The land I call my own. Let's check out the view blood. So a dedicated servant of the Transcendum. Oh, I love it. Do you know what this gives me? This gives me like the uh, Apothecarian vibes from Warhammer. Like Fabius Biles group. This whole thing just gives me Fabius Bile vibes. Oh yeah, we can get new armor now. We have a, a new chaos point. So we can unlock this now, the dash. It's pretty good. Uh, I can start making gems as well. Breaking them down, building them up. How many bosses was that? One, two, three, four, five, six today. That was actually insane. Six bosses knocked out just like that. Uh, first of all, we go to the study or we'll go to, to this place. Uh, where's, where's all my stuff? Okay. Um, maybe I went a bit too overboard on that. So we need tech scrap. We need sulfur and we need sludge canisters. So that's just going to go. Hopefully we can get at least 12 out of that. 45 times 3. That's 5. Carry the 1. That's 12. 1. That's 130 something. Maybe my math is... Fuck, math's not my good point. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing that Scott Steiner math. Um, I think we have enough, basically. I think we're good. That that will that'll keep going. So the rest of this can all go back in the chests. I don't know where this is all going. That's alchemy. Okay, so that's going to go into the alchemy place. And we did it just as the Blood Moon was ending. Honestly, a perfect time. Perfect timing. So let's let's see if there is anything that we can take. No, not re Actually, yes, there is. Wrangler's Potion. Increases movement. And then Pendant of the Warlock. So that's the chill version. Still haven't got the condemned version. But chill actually might be a good shout. Who knows? Uh, we'll toss this in there. Toss that in there. Because we have those. And then we have enough scrolls to actually unlock a new a new piece. So we might just do that. So we'll just quickly discover. Crossbow. Great. How does one make the new set? We need pristine leather and silk. Pristine leather and silk. Pristine leather and silk. Let's go check on our primal. We have two. Holy moly, we have two primals. That's something. Okay. Okay, okay. Now the jewels. The jewels is where I'm interested in. Because can we now craft level three? How do we craft level three jewels? Is there, if we go to K, is there a way? Pristine leather from Ben. That's right. Okay. And then silk from Ungora. She's freaking, she's annoying. Ungora is annoying. And then there's Fat Albert. Hey, hey, hey. Wilfred. That's correct. Long case, long case clocks. I like that. Ooh. Ooh, these are nice. Anyone else I can do? And then there's Act 3 for Cyril, where we get the anvil and the advanced 
I'm gonna have to make a bigger forge, aren't I? Maybe I'll make a big forge outside on the bottom level. I'll just make bigger versions. We'll keep the smaller versions for the small stuff in the castle. And the bigger versions we'll have outside. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Boom. We are now capable of so much more. We are so much more. An achievement, to be sure. So now we can dominate a mount. And it's going to be this one. So, subdue a horse using dominate mount. Uh, so I will assert mount. my will. Join on you. The night. We're going to have to think Welcome of a good name for this horse, too. Yet another accomplishment. Okay. So we have our horse. Uh, I need to make a saddle for it. So we go to the forge. Because that's where all the building happens. The building of, of the... Of our dynasty. Uh, smithy? Mm, maybe the... Uh, no, where where would I where would I where does one build ah no ah I'm having an epiphany it might be up top in the uh, in the thing in the uh, the, 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 the crafting uh, the thing this this thing but but do the tailoring bench. No. What about here? Leather working, that's right. Okay. Thick leather, four iron ingot. And uh thick leather and four iron ingot. Oh gosh, I really wish I had Taylor's flooring. Which horse do I like? I like the look of the chemist saddle. Um, but I like the look of the. I want to try this one out as well. Well, let's build. Let's build the the play chemist saddle. That will be first, and then we'll work from there. So we have that. We just need the iron, which we can grab easily, because we always have iron stocked up. And then we'll build the the plague. The plague one. It is here. And here. Uh, speaking of iron, I should take all of it out of here. I'm going to have to get some more iron as well. There's so much stuff I need to do. Nope, my iron's in the fabricator. That's right. Take that. And I need to go get quartz as well. Gosh, there's so much I need to go get. I'm going to have my hands full. And I'm going to need to get more servants. Because Dr. Bones is incredibly lonely. And we're going to pop this on like that. And there's our horse. Let's just hop on. See the stats. So we're at... Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. That's such... That's really good. What if I what if I take the saddle off? What's the what's the stats looking like without the Oh okay no, so they just put the plus one. So we're at eleven speed, seven acceleration, thirteen. That is one nice horse. That is a fast ride. That's a that's a that's a mighty fine horse, if I say so myself. Yeah, I, I like this. This is this is good. This just pleases me. So yeah, that's um actually one one very productive episode. One very quick episode. One very uh one very just this one of the episodes of all time. And uh, to to cut a long story short, boss rush. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time for the latter half of Act Three.